so welcome everybody to Jinky of the Day. Um, I'm not Amelie Grace, I am a dragon. Um, I am Amelie Grace's dragon inside of her that actually is inside of her inner child. And because this solar eclipse is occurring inside of Leo and is actually a, a blue moon, like the second new moon inside of Leo, um, actually um, I, the manifestational quality of reality uh, like was so strong that it allowed me to come out. So I'm Amelie's inner dragon and I'm here to tell you that there's been a prediction and like she wasn't going to come out and tell you this because she's all self-conscious. She actually like really is like super afraid of like what people are going to think and how many likes she gets. So she sort of like was going to do the straight like this is what the solar eclipse is going to do and, and jinky of the day. Just like all those other videos out there. But instead I was like girl. Well, I was like, universal energy just like brought me to life. And now I'm here to say there's actually been a prediction amongst the ancients of what's going to occur at this eclipse. Because like we all thought it was going to happen, um, you know, at Y2K. And we all thought it was going to happen like the real deal. Like we really thought that it was going to happen at 2012 when like the whole cosmic energies aligned and some synchrony and all co-creative um, consciousness on the planet was just going to like burst into total ecstatic exquisite embodiment and actually that is what's going to occur at the total solar eclipse tomorrow August 21st um, but just in the United States I'm sorry everyone across the world oh wait I'm getting a cosmic memo Oh no, no, this is totally holographic. Okay, so I'm sorry. Some there's all, there's some programs in here that like get glitched up, and and it's like I'm like who's that? Because I'm just the eternal playful dragon of the universe <laughs> inside of her. Anyway, glitch. Okay, back to the moment. So the prediction is that actually like if your inner child is tended to during this eclipse, you're going to have an implosion of total embodiment of your inner child's mm, fantasy, dream, like utmost, you know, creative expression. And that if the instrument is like clear enough that there's gonna be some like glitter and rainbows and um, streams of, of like musical notes, like you might even play like metal like if you play metal or like Bach or Chopin, it's just gonna come flying out of you. It's not like all rainbows, it's just, it could be anything. You just let your creative imagination just gonna pop out in quantum manifestation. So, here's the thing. It's a total solar eclipse. And um, Amelie was like looking at the chart and it's you know, the, the eclipse is happening inside of the 29th jinky. She's super into the jinkies. They're like this framework of consciousness and light to help you align to the higher synchrony of, you know, an order of the universe, language of light. Anyway, the, the solar eclipse is occurring inside of the 29th jinky, which is all about being 100% committed to the moment. So it's like you're either half-hearted, you're committed, or, you, or you're like in the total city of devotion. Now, it's a total solar eclipse. So it's what the signal and the messages here with the 29 is like, it's supposedly like, okay, be total. You know, like don't leave any dangling dangles. Like it's time to discard the dangles. And I think you know what I'm talking about with the dangles. Like us dragons, we kind of don't dangle. We're like, we're complete. We have our entirety inside of our being. That's why I love being here, it's so fun. But um, you know, humans have a lot of dangles because of the conditioning and the programs that just get lodged into your subconscious, like, you know, bio computer that you just don't realize you're doing the same dumb stuff that, you know, generations before you. Anyway, 
those are the kinds of things that are being dropped off. And so to be total means that, you know, be total in every moment. Like even if you have dangles, be total with your dangles because they're, they're going to just keep like leaking your like creative life force if you just keep letting them like float over here and thinking you're really super spiritual when 99% of you is cultivated here but you still got dangles. Be total with your dangles. Be total with whatever it is you're experiencing. And and then the eclipse will, will uh, do really good things for you. <laughs> so, Amelie wants to come online here. I just, I gotta say something. Dragon, you're awesome. But so am I. I am the integration of my inner child and of my dragon and of my dangles and I have many layers uh, to shed. In fact, I'm in my moon lodge right now and the shedding is occurring. The shedding of my need to feel secure in my identity. Like, who am I? I did a really awesomely stupid and smart thing when I was at Beloved Festival. And before I tell you, I just want to say that initiation is occurring, right? This eclipse is, is like we're being initiated as hu a humanity into the next level of how we can live, right? So what is initiation? Initiation is us expanding our capacities. And so to expand our capacities, we require more and more difficult situations to occur. So I get really good. Let's, okay, so this is where my story starts, is that I've been expanding my capacity to feel safe, to express my voice and be in um, creative expression and improvisational singing in front of audiences. And I get comfortable and I get more and more comfortable and now we performed in front of a nice sweet crowd of, you know, 50 or, you know, 60 like people here and there at these shows and I'm getting more and more safe. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good. Okay, I'm safe. Yay. I've, I've grown. I'm growing. But initiation comes in and says, okay, time to expand your capacity. And you feel safe enough to actually jump into totally dangerous waters and you're gonna get up on stage in front of thousands of people, well, at least it seems that way, definitely high hundreds, um, at the Beloved Festival, at the very end of the weekend at, with the Every One Orchestra and you're gonna solo an improvised verse because I, that's what I do, I'm, I know this. I'm singing alongside world-class singers, world-class musicians, epic music, and I come baby birding. I don't know what I'm saying. So I crash and burn. Basically, like if you were in the audience, you probably are like, that was so cute. Like she really did that. That probably took a lot of courage. But oh my God, was it painful. Did it ever like, ah, uh, like my identity was crushed. <laughs> Everything I wanna be, I wanna be great, uh-uh. You get to be seen being not great. So, I did a really good, I, I shamanically received that um, experience. I gave myself immense love. I did not let myself judge myself and yet I sat with a very intense pain for like 48 hours, intense. And so this is like initiation. This is like me expanding my capacities and growing beyond them. But what I realized that has to occur alongside initiation, which is very like yogic and yang and like climbing that ladder, is there's this equal yin process of like, and done. And I am that I am the light of true consciousness right here and right now. And inside of my being, I don't need to keep climbing the ladder. I am that which is on the other side up in the heavenly realms, you know? And that's where my identity has been really taking, 
it took a dive with this and, and with the crashing down of these crumbles of my identity, I really got to just land into the presence of divine and just go, wow, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to be anything. I, I am love and experiencing that through very simple moments, not needing to be wowie zowie, but just simple, beautiful human moments. So all this to say that we're undergoing radical changes and radical shifts. And I think that the dragon has some truth, um, that there's predictions of exciting explosions of creativity and, and, and really that this is just about us being in the process of being initiated and being in the process of already being on the other side of where we're being initiated into as a collective and just enjoying the journey <laughs> and being completely present inside of it that this energy of devotion is really calling us now and what are the synchronicities for you around that um, how is the 29th jinki relating you and, and sort of like a gateway into your own design you know how can you be totally committed to your design and to your gifts and to your process how can you be hundred percent in your shadow hundred percent in your cities hundred percent in your gifts and and watch where you become half-hearted to life and where that just isn't serving anymore so to complete we need you now. We need us all to show up and be present and arrive in this moment. So be total. Allow your beautiful inner characters to come out and fly like a bird, beautiful royal queen, king, master, children. Love you.